it's Tutorial Tuesday again. This week we are working on this super easy Luna the Cat cake from Sailor Moon. I'm just sticking down my 10 inch chocolate cake slightly towards the bottom of the drum. I'm pretty sure this was roughly a 16 inch drum. I've drawn out my face onto some grease proof paper in a 10 inch circle so I know how much of the ears I still need to create without too much wastage. I just pulled up an image from the internet and drew around it. I've cut out the template and I'm just cutting the cake to fit. Any pieces you cut off, keep them as you're going to need them to build up the tops of the ears. I'm then rounding out the sharp edge to give it a nice smooth shape. Now bring your off cuts back in and stick them to the tops of the ear with ganache. The second ear I'm building up with off cuts from when I levelled the cakes. So make sure you save them and don't eat them like I usually do. Keep carving, following your template and trimming cake from the underneath to round it all out. Then coat the whole thing in a layer of chocolate ganache, making sure to seal all that sponge in. I'm using an acetate smoother which I'm just bending to the contours of the cake to help smooth it out. Don't worry about getting it too neat as you can always add a second finishing layer once it's set. Once that's all firmed up, spritz the cake with water and cover it in white paste. Just help the paste stick to the sides of the cake and trim off the excess, leaving a good centimetre or two extra. All sorts of scrapers always come in handy and I love this plastic one for tucking that paste right underneath for a clean finish. You can even use this as a cutter to trim through the paste and clean it up. Now grab your template again and mark in all of Luna's features with the Dresden tool. Then you can go in deeper and define the eyes and mouth. Trim out the mouth area with a scalpel and hollow out the eye sockets with a ball tool in your finger. You'll also want to remove the middles of the ears. The reason I remove these is because I'm going to airbrush Luna's black fur. You can of course choose to cover it in black paste in the first place, but it can be a little sticky. Airbrushing it means it's only black on the very outer layer that you're spraying and the sugar paste underneath is still white and untouched, so it shouldn't affect the taste too much. You'll need to let it dry out a little bit before you continue decorating, otherwise it will make it very difficult for you and you're most likely to mark it. Once it's started to turn matte, lay some pink inside the ears and also make a tiny nose using your template for sizing. The inside of the mouth is also pink paste, just squashed into place with the Dresden tool. The eyes are just white flat ovals and I'm pushing it with the palm of my hand to meet the outsides of the sockets we created. Then cut the eye from your template and mark in the pupil details. I decided to paint mine but you can of course cut each individual shape out if you want. This is just gel colour with water and the black is edible food paint. Everything I use will be linked in the description box below. Now 
Now I'm using actual black paste for the features, cutting small cones to add as eyelashes, turning them upwards, and small little pieces for eyebrows. The crest symbol is just yellow paste cut with a circle cutter and the middle cut out with a smaller circle cutter. We can clean up any untidy bottoms by covering the board using the toilet seat method. You'll notice I've cut a hump out this time to be able to fit it between the ears. Just place your hand underneath and gently push it up against the details and it should slot right underneath. Push together the seam and flatten and stretch any areas you need to with a smedger. Trim off all the overhang with a scalpel and finish off by adding a little bit of hot pink airbrush around the edges of the board and Luna's face. You can even go a little bit further and add a little bit of blue if you like for that mystical feel. I then added Luna's name using click sticks, white stars with my star cutter and don't forget the whiskers. These are just black wires and I've pushed them in horizontally so that they're just sticking into the layer of paste and not the cake itself. And we're done. Sometimes cakes that look the most simple are the most striking and can really capture people's favourite characters. I hope you enjoyed watching Luna come to life. Let me know if you give her a go over on Instagram by tagging me at Cherry Cake Co or using the hashtag Cherry Brigade. And I'll see you again next week. Bye guys. Bye.